Which one is better to have in your wallet? The American Express Platinum card or the American Express Gold card? Let's compare and see what is a better fit for you. By the end of this video, I'm gonna show you which one is a better fit for you because the gold card comes with a whopping $250 annual fee, which is not cheap. And then the platinum card comes with an even heftier one at $695 annual fee. So you see all these videos everywhere and it's just really confusing. Should I get the platinum? Should I get the gold? Which one is the best for me in my wallet? Let's break it down. Welcome back to the channel. I'm Mike the Credit Guy and I created the most advanced DIY credit management system in the industry. Our system allows you to take control of your credit, creating custom Metro to attack letters every single round, never using templates for only $55.99 a month. Link is always going to be in the description and let's get into this video. The welcome offer with any credit card is the most important piece to the puzzle. You need to make sure that you get the maximum amount of points for when you sign up and open a new credit card because one, you're gonna get a new hard inquiry if you don't have a relationship with American Express. If you have an existing relationship with American Express, you only get one hard inquiry for any personal credit card in the American Express Eco family, only the personal side. Business side, also same thing. One hard inquiry for the entire business side of the American Express family. So with the American Express Platinum card, the personal one, you're looking to get 80,000 American Express points if you spend $6,000 in six months. It's a significant amount of money, but you break that down, that is $1,000 every month for six months. Seems very attainable if you just use your everyday expenses. The American Express Gold Card comes in with a 60,000 point welcome offer if you spend $4,000 in six months. Now that seems easier to attain. That breaks down to $667 a month. Now listen, a lot of people ask me, well, how do you do this? I, I don't wanna buy TVs and phones and shoes and clothes that I don't need. No, stop stressing yourself out. All you have to do is pay your light bill, your water bill, car insurance, your cell phone, your groceries, your gas for your car, all your everyday expenses. If you're already budgeted and you're ready to make that payment, put it on a credit card and then pay it off immediately. Do not carry a balance because remember, when you carry a balance, you're going to pay interest. We don't wanna pay interest unless we absolutely positively need to. Now people always tell me, Mike, the American Express Platinum and the American Express Gold is not a credit card. Stop calling that, it's a charge card. Well, yes, in fact, it is a charge card, correct. People always say, you can't carry a balance with a charge card. Guess what, ladies and gentlemen, as a matter of fact, you can with American Express. They have a feature that is called the pay over time feature. As you use your credit card and you pay it off more and, and always on time and frequently, you will increase the amount that you can carry over as a balance if you need to. Again, I always strongly suggest that you do not because you're going to incur the fees of interest, which is how you wind up in debt. So we wanna stay out of debt, that's our goal. We wanna use these points, stack points, and travel for free, that is our goal. We only pay the taxes on airfare and hotels. That's all we wanna pay for, so do not carry balances, I cannot stress it enough to you because it is a very slippery slope. But remember, both the American Express, Platinum, and the Gold offer the pay over time feature, so it is an option. Another very important feature that people fail to realize with a charge card, a charge card does not report a credit limit, so therefore it does not affect your utilization if you do accidentally carry a balance on your charge card or you intentionally carry a balance on your charge card it will not tank your credit score because it does not report to your utilization as a regular card does. So that is a bonus feature. The American Express Gold Card is gonna get you 4X points for every dollar spent at restaurants with delivery and takeout and dine-in. That is every single restaurant you can think of. And there's no cap on that spend with American Express in the dining section. Now here's another tip that you need to pay attention to with the gold card. You need to activate your Uber Eats and your Uber Rides. Connect your gold card into your 
actual Uber app and use it as your main way of paying and you're going to immediately get $10 every month up to $120 per year that you can use on Uber Eats or Uber Rides. This is why it's a big deal. But how many Americans eat out and do you really truly eat out that much where it's going to make a difference because because 4x points for every dollar spent on dining is a huge win if you're a foodie and you like to eat out. If you haven't already, you need to smash that like button. And don't forget, last part's the most important. Now the American Express Gold Card is also gonna get you 4x points for every dollar spent at restaurants for dining, takeout, and delivery. Why is this a big deal? If you're a foodie, it's a huge deal. You can connect your Uber Eats and you can spend inside of Uber Eats. And on top of that, you're going to get a $120 credit annually, which breaks down to $10 per month that you can use in Uber Eats or you can use in Uber Rides. So if you wanna catch a quick drive to the airport or a friend's house, or you're out on a night drinking or whatever it may be, you need an Uber really quick, you can have that credit every single month. Now no, if you don't use the credit, they do not roll over. So you have to use them every single month. But also inside of Uber Eats, you're gonna see that you can do pharmacy, grocery shopping, you can buy, um, have alcohol delivered to you. There's so many different options inside of there, pharmaceuticals, different stores that Uber Eats will allow you to shop at that you can use that $120 credit with Uber. So it is a huge bonus and there is no cap on restaurant usage. Now the Platinum Card only gets you one point if you use it at a restaurant. So unfortunately, the Platinum Card just disqualified itself for the dining sector. The Gold Card comes in with another amazing category. That is for supermarkets. You can get 4X points for every dollar spent at a supermarket with a maximum cap at $25,000 per annual year. Now, it does not apply to Target, Walmart, or Costco's or those big box discount stores, only to be used at supermarkets. This is a really great way to stack points all the way up to $25,000. So you look at it, that's 100,000 points per year that you can get just for using it at the grocery store. You're already gonna go to the grocery store. Why not get 100,000 points that help you travel for free? I don't know, I mean, it's just free, right? You're just literally using it for everyday expenses. Now, unfortunately, this is another category where the Platinum Card comes short. They're only gonna give you 1X points to spend at a supermarket. Things are not looking really great for the Platinum Card right now, ladies and gentlemen. Now the gold card also comes with a $120 annual credit to Grubhub, Shake Shack, and different places like that. But remember, Grubhub, you can have your food delivered to, you, to your house, and it's gonna get you 4X points for those $120 that you spend. So it kind of makes sense, right? But when you look at the actual platinum card, it does not have a dining credit, but it does come with a $200 Uber credit that you can use for Uber Eats or Uber Ride. Now here is the category where the Platinum Card becomes the heavy hitter. If you book any flights directly inside the American Express app, you will get 5X points. Now that is a really big deal because instead of using your points, it makes no sense to sometimes not use your points. You're like, nah, you know what? I don't wanna burn up those points flying domestically. I'm gonna save them and I'm just gonna go ahead and pay for the flight because I was already planning on it. 5X points is major. Now the gold card is only going to get you 3X points on booked flights in the Amex app with the gold card. That's a huge significance. Now let's scroll down a little bit and look at hotels. With the American Express Platinum Card, you're going to get 5X points for any hotels booked inside the Amex app. And unfortunately, this is where the gold card falls short. You get no points except for one point for every dollar spent if you book a hotel using the Amex Gold in the Amex Gold app. Now the American Express Gold Card will get you a $100 credit for an experience at any of their hotels when you book it using the hotel collection booking in the American Express app. But 
the platinum card comes in with a $200 statement credit, okay, versus the 100 with the gold. So this is where they start to win more is the travel sector, okay? Now here's a huge insider tip. If you call and you book your hotel stay over the phone with the concierge service for the American Express Platinum, just flip over your card and look at the concierge number, call them, you're going to immediately get that $200 statement credit for your hotel stay with the Platinum card if you book it over the phone. So always do this. Now this is where the road is going to end for the gold card. Once you get into this travel, just like we talked about a minute ago, it starts to lose its value. And then the Platinum card takes over. Little hidden bonus of a gem with the American Express Platinum card. You're going to get a $240 digital entertainment credit every year. You're gonna get $20 per month to use at Audible, Disney Plus, Disney Bundle, ESPN Plus, Hulu, Peacock, Sirius XM, and the New York Times. You cannot beat that. It's just an, ex an extra ancillary product that a lot of people don't use. I use the Disney Plus for me and the kids. I also use the Sirius for my car. One of our cars has Sirius satellite radio and we get to enjoy it for free. Now this is another little insider tip. Call Sirius XM and get them to lower the price all the way down to your monthly spend. Believe me, they will do it because they want your business. Lock in that price for 12 months and don't tell them that you're using your platinum card and then when you go to play, when you go to pay, sorry, you give them your platinum card number and guess what? You're literally paying nothing for satellite radio if you have. Now the American Express Platinum card is going to get you the lounge access into the Centurion Lounge and a bunch of other lounges because it's gonna get you the priority pass for lounges. That's very important that you activate it because this is gonna open up all the lounges when you're traveling. You do not have to sit in those terminals that are packed full of people and just wait in there aimlessly. And more importantly, you do not have to spend any money on food and drink while you're at an airport. You just go to the lounges and you enjoy all the free food and free drink. And for the adults, adults, listen to me. You can drink for free. There's a free drink menu that you can have free adult beverages at your disposal inside the lounges. Now listen, people have complained about the Centurion Lounge being packed and American Express has fixed it. So there are requirements to add additional people to go into the Centurion Lounge, okay? So be aware of that. Now there is something inside the app that allows you to book your slot for the Centurion Lounge when you're going to arrive and you're going to try to use the Centurion Lounge. So use the app to book your slot. This is something that I saw when my wife was traveling. I caught it before she got there. I was like, yo, you gotta book your slot so you can enjoy the Centurion Lounge. She said, oh, okay. She had no clue. But I have never ever experienced a booked Centurion Lounge that was just packed full of people, which is crazy because I heard so many people complain about it. What I have experienced is the Delta Sky Lounges are a bit overwhelmed in certain airports, but once they start to board, they start to empty out. It's not a big deal. I don't stress about it because guess what? It's for free. I'll find a spot. I'm going to enjoy it while I'm at the airport. This is where the Platinum Card also wins. Again, it's going to be the clear credit for $189 with the Platinum Card. Now, the clear is going to get you through TSA much faster. It's a completely separate line. Now, you can use it at airports, at music venues, and sporting events also. What they do is they scan your retina or your fingerprints and you literally just walk up, you go to the clear section, completely separate from regular TSA, and then they scan your finger or your retina, they get you in there, you go through a different sector that is not through regular TSA and you get through it much faster. The fastest I've ever been through TSA with clear was eight minutes at LAX. At LAX, you heard me right, that's insane, okay? The longest it ever took me to go through TSA with clear was 12 minutes. Okay, and I believe that was um, at Raleigh. That was Raleigh, Durham. That's where it took me the longest because the guy asked me for my ID. I'm like, bro, why are you asking me for my ID? That's the whole point of this. I don't have to, I, don't, I wasn't ready. So I had to like pull out my ID because I was timing it. And he was like, sorry, I just need to see your ID. I was like, okay. But that's the whole point. Now, Clear will also take you to the very front of TSA pre-check. If you see a TSA pre-check, 
clear is going to be right next to it. They're going to take you right to the very front of it. They're going to bypass everyone in TSA PreCheck, which is pretty wild to me. Another great little feature with the Platinum card where they win again is going to be TSA PreCheck or Global Entry. You will get a $100 credit annually for either one of those. You have to choose either TSA PreCheck or Global Entry. Now, if you have clear already, you don't need TSA PreCheck. You just bypass that. But if you're gonna travel globally, this is where it makes sense. So for me, we're looking at the Platinum card as being the most elite for travel. And then you're going to be looking at the Gold card to be for everyday spending at grocery stores and dining. That is the huge difference between both of those credit cards. I'm gonna leave you with one last major tip. If you go to resi.com and you use your Google in incognito mode, or your Mac in private mode, you can go to the very top of resi.com and you'll see that it will say exclusive American Express offers. You may potentially get more points on your welcome offer if you go through that website. Now listen, if you use our links in our description or in the comment section, that does help support our channel and we greatly appreciate it. That's how we keep the lights on that's how we keep feeding our editors okay so it is super helpful it does help our channel but i want you to know that that is available to you but if you want to support my channel we ain't gonna complain about it okay i almost forgot one last thing remember any american express credit card that you apply for through the american express website okay our links will redirect you to the american express website and so will resi there is no impact to your credit score to see if you are approved. If you accept the credit card offer, there will be a hard inquiry if you do not have an existing relationship with American Express. Don't forget that. So just to find out, it doesn't hurt you at all. I hope you enjoyed the video and you got a better understanding of the difference between the American Express Platinum and the American Express Gold card. Now, if you have anything specific you want me to talk about it, drop it in the comment section. Don't be afraid to ask me anything credit related. We will try to make a video out of it because we cannot do it without you. I cannot thank you enough, okay? Without you, it's not possible. Now, make sure that you watch the next two videos because they are recommended by YouTube. And don't forget, subscribe to increase your credit score.